Hey guys, this is Swaddle and Rabbits. I'm doing a video on my bunny binder, and I'm sick, so I sound a little different than normal. Um, so some people wanted to see it and what I have inside it, so I'm just going to show you. It's a cloth binder, um, and when you open it up, it has some pockets, and I have just some sheets of paper that people gave me, and my emergency vet booklet in case I ne ever need to take them to an emergency vet. Then I have this old folder and I just stuck it in here. It has some printed out articles from the House Rabbit Society. And then um, here, this yellow divider. Oops, my watch is going off. Sorry about that, I have an alarm set. Okay, um, so this yellow divider is emergency information and vet care and whatnot. So here is a uh, Rabbits for Dummy cheat sheet that I ripped out of the book. Um, it was made to rip out, so I didn't just rip a random piece out. Um, here's the book. It's a very good book. I strongly recommend it, um, especially for new rabbit owners, but it's excellent for old rabbit owners as well. Um, the name might sound a little different, but it's a really good book. So this cheat sheet has tips for living with an indoor rabbit. Um, things to keep away from your rabbit. And then this is an emergency numbers um, that you can write down, um, like your veterinarian, um, emergency veterinarian, and stuff like that. But I didn't write anything down because I'm going to be moving soon. So I'm going to get a new vet and everything. So um, I didn't want to write it down and then have to erase it all. Then over here on the other side of it is um, recognizing the signs of a rabbit health emergency, um, bleeding, and then the possible cause, injury, and then it goes all the way down. And then tuning into your rabbit, which is just body language. And then I wrote down some information about like their normal temperature, um, heart rate, respiratory rate, and stuff like that. And after this, I can't show you. Um, it's my the bunny's vet information. Um, just all their receipts from every time they went to the vet, so I'm just going to skip over that. So, um, yeah, here's the next section, which is diet. I have the rabbit food pyramid. This is printed out from the House Rabbit Society. Then the next section is, um, hay, which this is an article I printed, um, I copied from one of my rabbit magazines because I really liked it. And I put it in here, and it has all the different hays you can get, and talks about hay and what and stuff like that. Then this sheet you might have seen before, I had on one of my videos, um, just the different brands of hay that are um, good brands, and then the different hays they sell, um, like the different kinds of hay they sell. And then KT, not recommended, as most of you know, and most of you will agree with me on. And then another article from the Health Service Society. And then this is another article from the Health Service Society about um, suggested vegetables. It goes all the way down and on this page. And then this is a diet article from the Health Service Society. I love this article. It tells you like, um, like for what age group, what you should feed them and everything. And then this is BinkyBunny.com. I printed it out from their website. And it's suggested um, vegetables that you can feed them, and then vegetables that you shouldn't feed them or that may cause problems. And I love um, Binky Bunny, so go check that website out as well. Then this is supposed to be in here. It's uh, another article from the Health Service Society, just suggested fruits. Then this is the back of my pellet bag. I got it because, um, I mean, I cut it out because I throw my pellet bags after I put them in my pellet container. So if I ever have a question, I can just go here and look at it. And then I have some recommended um, vet um, pellet information. So yeah, that's my bunny binder. Some people were wondering how to make one. Um, pretty much you just get a binder, um, folder, whatever that you're not using and just put a whole bunch of, um, I, I recommend you putting all their 
um, vet receipts and stuff like that in there. And then you can also um, put some printed out information from websites that you like. And that's pretty much it. So Mocha is like attacking his hay rack. So he's making a lot of noise. And then there's Lulu. Hi, baby. So yeah, that's it um, for today. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and request any more videos you want me to do about rabbits or rabbit care. If you want me to do a video on all my rabbit books and magazines, which are all down there, just comment below or message me, and I will um, make a video about it. So, yep, yeah, bye.